Hi everyone, this is a very short video. Um, people have been asking about power consumption and energy consumption with regards to the Samsung uh, tumble dryer, heat uh, pipe tumble dryer. Now, I'll just quickly show you what I'm doing and to see if this um, actually helps anybody. First of all, I'm using this device here to check uh, how much power this uh, um, dryer takes. So all I'll be doing is literally, there's my plug point. Oh dear. Unplug this and then put this in. I might have to take this thing off from there. Now turning it on. Okay, now I've got a reset, nice reset automatically to zero. Put the plug back on. Okay, straight away, it's showing that the usage is taking place. Okay, let's reset. I think that's how you reset. Zero. Cost. Okay, so everything is set to zero now. Now what we're going to do, I'll show you the load that I've got so you can understand. It's about half full well, I still would say full load but it's quite a few quite a lot in there so let's see how long it takes the filter needs to be changed quickly so let me just do that all right so I'm putting the filter back in don't go the right way around yeah that's fine it's a bit messy so there you go so I'm going to show you what I'll do next so you can understand exactly how much fuel consumption it takes so turning it on filter before use so I'm just gonna go for it's not cotton sure this is the other end isn't it mix load okay maximum 9 kg it takes three hours I can change the bar I'll keep it to standard setting and let's see what it does okay so here we go standard setting gotta hold it All right, started now. So what we'll do next is, um, I don't know if you can hear me on this, what we'll do next is to wait and see after three hours what the fuel consumption is. So right now, a bit dark here I'm afraid. Um, let's go to mode, cost. So you can see straight away this in wattage wise is 77, 78, 79. So that's the sort of wattage. It's, it's got W just there. I'm assuming that means wattage on there. There's indicating right now. So the, the sound stops, it's dropped down now, 5.3. So you'll keep doing this. Um, and once in a while I'll come and quickly have a check to see what, what sort of uh, power wattage is taking. So it's going to 123 now, so it's building up. So kilowatts, we'll check that one later, see how much it takes. Right now it hasn't done anything at all yet. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes as you can see already on there, uh, roughly about 15 minutes. So just have a look at the power consumption now. So it's hitting about 356 watts, or 60 let's say. And if I change the mode to, so it is 9 kilowatt or 0 0.09 kilowatts so far, it's been used. So we'll come back later and check again. Alright, once again an hour later, let's see what it's saying on here. Okay, it's hitting 200, sorry, 426 watts right now an hour later and in terms of consumption 0.37 kilowatts I suppose yeah I'm going to zoom on that there. there we go okay we'll come back again later to the end and we'll see how it goes 
Right, that was strange. My app just told me the dryer is complete, it's finished. Uh, it took less than three hours than it said on there. Um, I wasn't, I'm not sure it was two hours now. I'm getting a bit confused here because it took less than what it said on there. Um, so let's have a look to see what the consumption is. Now, it's still saying, without it being on, it's still saying 1.2 watts being used. And now it's saying point, if I can get a close up of this somehow. So I'm gonna put a light on it to get a bit more clarity on here. There you go, this is where it's showing. 0 0.57 kilowatts so that's how much it's using so i'll put that on to you now guys to see how much that works out for you in terms of cost of running a dryer uh, depending on how much they your uh, service provider charges you so hopefully hopefully this has been helpful to you but i know a lot of people have been asking about this the consumption um and i'm if this meter is correct then that's the amount that's just been used to dry my clothes. Now, when I did my first load of testing, my initial video, it did come down to 0.83 kilowatts. I think that was probably a full load. Um, so I'm not sure how it determines how much load and how much power. It must mean something if you have a full load. But in this case, on this occasion, with the load, and I'll, un I'll just quickly show you what's in there now. So it's fully dry, it's not hot uh, as the last one used to be. My last one, I still open it, I still feel a lot of heat. Um, so yeah, there you go. I mean, it's fully dry, like there's no wetness at all. Uh, perfect the way I want it. We just put mixed load in there. And it's basically half a load, if, if you can see, if it's just literally half full. So it's not fully loaded. I don't really tend to load fully, but... Well, that's how much it costs to run this... Um, oh, tissue in there. That's how much it costs to run this dryer. So work it out for yourself, as I said, and uh, hopefully it's been helpful to you. Take care and um, hope to see you again next time.